Hello, welcome everybody to NUS Chemical Engineering. My name is Saeed Khan, and I've been a professor in this department for 13 years now, and it's been an amazing experience. Now, what I'd like to do is introduce you to the exciting profession of chemical engineering and talk about how chemical engineers are relevant in today, um, today's industrial professions, as well as uh, for careers. And I'd like to talk a little bit about our educational program. Congratulations on reaching a new milestone in your life. I am Liu Bing, the head of NUS Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. NUS Chemical Engineering always strive to be at the forefront of engineering research and education. We have a strong group of dedicated educators, award-winning professors, and professional admin people to bring you the best educational experience. Chemical engineers solve real-world problems, and NUS Chemical Engineering is more than oil and gas. We research and educate on cutting-edge technologies such as green energy, environment and water, biopharma, and even artificial intelligence for materials. We create impact on people's everyday life. For example, our membrane technology provides clean water for more than 5 million people. And right now, we even have a team working on the diagnostic kits for coronavirus. At NUS Chemical Engineering, we encourage entrepreneurship to help you build your own startups. Over 90% of our students have overseas exchange experience. We have over 300 companies ready for your industrial attachments. We offer holistic education to equip you with critical thinking and analytical skills so that you can excel in any career you pursue. Our strong alumni network will help you advance your career. At the NUS alumni, I'm grateful to NUS for grooming me to be a world-class professor today. If you're passionate about solving real-world problems, we welcome you to join us, the top 10 chemical engineering department in the world and the best in Asia. I believe you have a bright future here with us. We are here to make your dreams come true. So let's first think about the profession of chemical engineering, right? So as chemical engineers, what you deal with is chemical and physical transformation of the materials that are available in nature. So as chemical engineers, we take the building blocks of nature, air, water, and even um, crude oil that comes out from the ground and transform it using processes um, into thousands of valuable products that we use every single day. In fact, if you look around yourself right now, as you're sitting watching this video, you look at the clothes that you're wearing, perhaps the glasses that you're wearing, the chair you're sitting on, the medicine you may or may not have taken um, in, today, uh, the consumer products that you've used uh, today, including shampoos, toothpaste, and um, air gel. All of that is a product of chemical engineering processes. We are really the molecular engineers. We take molecules, whether they are molecules that nature gives us, or molecules that are available and are the building blocks of life itself. And we transform them into complex molecular products that are of use to us and sustain our very civilization. Um, so that's what we do um, as chemical engineers. You may not know, but um, our profession underlies industries as wide as the oil and gas industry, the petrochemicals industry, the fine chemicals industry, which are, are things that you may be aware of. But our profession also underlies the pharmaceutical industry, the consumer products industry, and even the semiconductor industry. You may not be aware of this, but the computer chips that are inside your inside your personal computers or in your cell phones are a product of dozens of chemical engineering operations. 
So really, it is one of the most diverse fields of engineering and very relevant to careers today, as well as to the careers of tomorrow. For students who wish to enroll in the chemical engineering program, you'll need a H2 pass in subjects of physics, mathematics, and chemistry. For those students who do not have H1 or H2 A-level in physics, you'll need at least an O-level equivalent in physics. These students will also be required to take specific physics bridging modules. Physics is important in all engineering disciplines. It is the study of how the world works and how the universe works. In chemical engineering, we design and develop processes based on physics principles such as the conservation of mass and momentum, as well as uh, thermodynamics principles. For instance, we can make use of these physics principles to help us to best minimize the energy consumption when designing a process or equipment. So the next thing we can talk about is what do we learn in chemical engineering? Now, let's divide the answer to that question into two parts. The first part is a what question. In chemical engineering, we try to focus on one what question. And the what question is, what are the key physical, chemical, mathematical, and engineering principles that allow us to design clean, energy efficient, scalable, and economical processes that enable us to transform the raw materials available from nature into value-added products, right? So with that what question answered, chemical engineers can then move on to answering several how questions. For example, how do you capture carbon dioxide from the air? That's a big how question. How do you design better, faster, more powerful vaccines or drug products that enhance the quality of life for millions of people? How do you provide clean drinking water to millions and millions of people from salty water? How do you minimize gaseous emissions from vehicles? And even how do you design better, faster, and smaller computer chips? These, these are among the many how questions that you are equipped with uh, to answer with the profession of chemical engineering. And therefore, it makes it a very, very diverse and exciting frontier discipline. Chemical engineering is a study of processes. We get to learn about how we can design and operate and develop these processes to get the products like food, pharmaceuticals, and consumer goods. So we base on like physics, bio, and chemistry concepts to derive these processes to get the products that are most valuable and economical. So when we first came in, we were first introduced to this idea of input equals to the output of the processes. And based on this like, foundational concept, we actually um, get to learn about different like processes like separations and chemical reactions and yeah, and many, many more. And in chemical engineering, we are pretty much different from chemistry in the sense that chemistry focuses on the chemical reaction itself, um, how to develop all these reactions, how reactions are carried out in small scale basically in lab scale. But in chemical engineering, we do it in large scale. We basically scale from lab size uh, product manufacturing stage to industrial size manufacturing. So we use all these uh, reaction separation techniques in uh, to design and operate large scale chemical processes. Let's talk about global challenges. Currently, as we know all across the world, we face several major challenges. We face challenges of climate and climate action. We face challenges of healthcare for a rapidly growing population. Uh, we need clean energy. We need clean water. And all of these channel challenges that are global in nature involve at their very basis, the ability to transform molecules. And this is where chemical engineers really come into play. At the present moment, at the very frontier of these global challenges, Chemical engineers are playing a pivotal transformational role. Let's take clean energy as an example. We are at NUS Chemical Engineering looking at different ways in which we can perhaps even take carbon dioxide from the air and convert them into liquid fuel that are cleaner than the fossil fuels that come out of the ground. 
other things. We're looking at healthcare as a very big challenge. Now, how do you provide the best medicines at the cheapest price to the most amount of people? That is truly at its very basis a chemical engineering problem because most medicines today either involve chemistry to make active molecules or involve the transformation of living matter, cells that come from microbial um, origins or from human origins, and then to get cells to produce very large molecules that themselves serve as vaccines. All of these challenges involve chemical engineering. Uh, on the other end of uh, the uh, global challenges, water is a major challenge, right? Um, and because we are facing uh, depleting freshwater sources everywhere, uh, one major uh, challenge that chemical engineers are actively engaged with is the purification of salty water, which abounds all over the globe, into purified drinking water. Once again, the techniques, the operations, the processes that are used to do that have a chemical engineering origin. So as an engineer uh, that is trained in the profession of chemical engineering, you will be at the very forefront of developing solutions to challenges that are global in nature. And this is a very, very exciting time to be a chemical engineer indeed. In NUS engineering, industrial attachment is compulsory for all students. And I believe that it's a very important curriculum as we get to have a feel of what it's like in the real working environment. As future chemical engineers, we are very relevant in many industries. And Industrial attachment allows us the opportunity to explore the options that we have and what we want to do in the future. During my internship, I was a process engineer intern at an oil and gas company. My job scope included process monitoring of different units at the plant and also uh, profit estimation at the site. So I was also expected to work on many small projects with different teams of engineers and this has helped me on my communication and time management skills. I'm Vanessa, uh, I'm a year four. So um, I went for my industrial attachment uh, last year, so uh, at the start of the year. So I think like um, it was pretty cool uh, going for IA. Um, so like when I went for my in first day of internship, it was quite uh, mind-blowing because um, it's like seeing all the theories that we learn in school um, come into life because you you know you when you go to like the control room you get to see all the panels you get to see all the operators rushing here rushing there having meetings so it was really it was pretty cool to see how like it's actually done in the real world so I would say like my eye experience was filled with a lot of different um, surprises and a lot of um, yeah, seeing the different theories um, being applied to an actual plan. Yeah, so I think as I continue with my IA, um, I got to learn different things. I think firstly, I learned how to troubleshoot. So like in a, in a plant setting, it's very common for people to do troubleshooting because um, there are different problems are uh, surface every single day. So then how does the engineer come into the picture, use whatever knowledge that we have and solve a problem. So I got to see like the thought process behind by professionals. So yeah, so, so I got to learn, I got to pick up like the knowledge from them uh, as I continue with the different projects that I, I'm, team, I'm doing with the team. And I think secondly, it was, um, the IA was also challenging my priority skills about how I manage my different projects and how I, um, with the limited timeline that I have, how do I prioritize which tasks to do first. So I think like um, I had a very good supervisor who actually told me this. Um, in this period of time, I know that we are overloading you with a lot of different projects, but I want to see how you prioritize them. And I want to see how you approach different problems and different projects. So I think that that, that is essentially what we are going to face in the real world. So like um, having the skill to really manage my own projects, manage my own time, and schedule meetings with the different engineers and supervisors that, that really taught me a lot in terms of the way I do things and questioning exactly why I'm doing this. Because if not, then like they, I lose the meaning or behind whatever that I do. 
Yeah, and I think lastly, um, it's really about working with people. I think like in the workplace, be it online, offline, there's a certain degree of interaction that, that we have to carry out. Um, yeah, so I think like by working with different teams, I got to know how to handle like the different team dynamics and how to communicate with people, how to make people listen to, to whatever that I have to say. Because, you know, given that I'm just an intern, I really appreciate how like the teams actually listen to what I have to suggest and what I came up with so um, yeah it was it was really a very good experience I definitely learned a lot and see how it is like to be an engineer the last thing I want to talk to you about is our educational program at NUS chemical engineering we've designed a very modern and flexible curriculum uh, for our undergraduate program that not only allows our students to be trained skillfully in uh, problems that allow them to address industry challenges, but also to address global challenges that are the frontier challenges for the next uh, 10, 20, 30 years. Now, just to highlight some aspects of this educational program, uh, in your very first year, the way we will introduce the principles of chemical engineering to you is by way of studio-based instruction, where a lot of you will be paired into smaller groups and you'll be doing problems where, which involve actual experimentation in studios, touching and feeling real chemical engineering systems while learning very profound uh, physical, chemical, mathematical, and engineering principles. So it's a different way to do things. It's not exactly just textbook education, but it's really interactive and trains you not just in the hard engineering principles, but also in aspects like teamwork, communication, and, um, and uh, it's really fun. Uh, so we hope that uh, you will join us and actually avail of this uh, curriculum that we've designed. And we very much look forward to having all of you join us at NUS Chemical Engineering.